y'all. This is Dino. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so I am back with craft fair idea number two for my craft fair series for 2019. Um, first, I wanted to let you know that um, I did start, of course, I did start my craft fair series because I'm coming up with these ideas and I wanted to save them for craft fair and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and start sharing them. Um, every one of my videos will not be craft fair. But you will know it's a craft fair item, of course, in the title of my video. So just to let you know, not everyone will be craft fair, but I'm going to try to get in as much as I can. And I probably will not utilize everyone for the craft fair. I might just give you ideas. I probably will take some of the craft fair ideas that I used for my last craft fair, and I will probably make them better. Um, and I will add in also, of course, new things and different things as much as I can. So anyway, let me just give you a little bit of background on this next idea. You can't really see, but I've got loads and loads of curling ribbons sitting over here. I mean, lots. Um, anyway, whenever my children were little, I participated in a craft fair. And that craft fair, um, I just worked my little heart out. Me and my, me and my friend, my neighbor, we um, did this craft fair. My kids has been like, oh goodness, probably... 25 years. It's been a long time. My kids were like 10 and they're in their 30s. So anyway, I worked my little heart out on this and I also at the end added in some of those halos with the curling ribbon hanging off the back of them. And do you know I didn't do very well on all my stuff, but I sold every one of my halos with the curling ribbon. So I started thinking, you know what, I'm thinking about making some kind of really like ribbon wands or something like that for my craft fair because there are a lot of people that come and bring their children with them. And y'all, these kids are going to want this stuff. So anyway, I started looking on Pinterest to see if there was some kind of different idea than just a basic um, wand. And I am going to do some wands. I've got some ideas for those, but I wanted to utilize some with like with a curling ribbon. And I found some on wooden rings, y'all. And um, I, when I saw these, I was like, well, oh my goodness, how easy is that for even a young child to hang on to? Even a two-year-old could walk around and hang on this. If they fall, they're not going to be knocking themselves in the eye with like this with a stick or something like that and y'all they are so pretty and flowy they're just awesome so i thought you know what you can use regular ribbon but i think it'd be more cost effective to use um curling ribbon and i already had some but i went to hobby lobby today and my husband stayed in the car this time y'all and i just ran in got some got some different colors curling ribbon because i want to start making these and, um, yeah, I'm really excited about them. I think that they're going to be eye-catching, and I really do think that kids will like them. I also, when, when I was doing a little bit of research on these kind of uh, flowing, like, dancey, they're called dancing ribbons on a wooden ring is what they're, what they're really called. And I, I found out that a lot of Montessori schools use this kind of thing in their music classes. So this could be really beneficial for your children and, or for any child um, when they're learning or whatever. So anyway, super easy, right? So then I thought, where am I going to find these wooden rings? Well, I went to Hobby Lobby and I saw these rings. They have them in several different sizes. Y'all, they were two rings for $2.99. You can't do two rings for $2.99. So guess what? I found, them on, I found them on Amazon. This came 30 in a bag. These are two and three quarters across, inches across. There's 30 in there, and I paid $11.99 for this bag. I will link the, the, the information below of the, the thing that I found it on, Pinterest, or on uh, Amazon in case you want to make these also. So anyway, this is super easy. It's going to be super simple and really fun to make. So let me just show you how I did this. As you see, like on this one, I utilized different colors on the pink one. I did pink, white, and silver, and a different pink. And on this one, I did like a red, white, and blue. These would be really great if you wanted to do them like in school colors. Like if you have like any schools in that area, you know, that might be a good thing as well. 
um, yeah, elementaries, anything, anything. They would be really pretty. And look how flowy and beautiful they are. Okay, so let me quit rambling on. I'm going to show you how I make this. So I've already got one started. And this particular one, I'm doing it in pink, purple, and green. And um, what I did is I am putting three pieces of ribbon on each one when I tie it. And I'm trying to keep... On this one, I'm trying to keep one color on the top, and uh, as you see, they don't even hardly move. Um, I'm tying them really tight, and all it is is pulling off ribbon and tying it, tying it onto your wooden, your wooden ring. And so I, thought, oh, I really do like that. So let me just show you. I'm going to finish this one up. I've already gotten five on here. I want to do ten. 10 different groups of ribbon on one ring. So let me see if I can keep this from falling off. So what I did is I'm taking my ribbon and let me grab, I just grab all three uh, colors. You want, you want, like I said, you want to do three on each one. You want it to be really full. If you did one piece of ribbon on each one, it wouldn't be very full. So all you're going to do is you're just going to bring these together like this. And I know you can't see my one arm that's fixing this one right here, but I hold it up here and I'm just pulling it. And I just pull them off an arm length two times, two times. And that's how long you want it because you want them long and flowy and pretty. Then you're going to take it and make sure whatever color you want to be on top like I'm putting the green on the top of this one. Make sure your green is gonna stay up there or whatever color you're doing. And make sure that you've got them, um, make sure it's even. Bring up the center here. And I know that you can see my other arm, kinda hard whenever I'm trying to string these out, but I just wanna make sure you see how I, all I do is tie them on. So all you're gonna do is I bring it up through the back. And that way you can keep your colors on here and just tie it very tight and I just tied it really tight at first and I tied it one more time real tight you can do a third knot if you want um, but mine are staying on just fine so tie it as tight as you can and push them together so that makes six so I'm gonna do a couple more and this one will be done so I got, like I said, I got my cur curling ribbon at my, at a Hobby Lobby. And uh, this purple one actually I had it and it came from Dollar Tree. But most of these like this, they came from Hobby Lobby. And as you see, they're $1.99 a piece. So um, I got them in like in the party section. So y'all, this is a great thing for you to make if you want to if you're going to make these in quantity and I'm going to do 30 because that's the amount of rings that I have um, but you can take this in there and watch TV with your family and work on this you don't have to be stuck in your craft room this is an easy nice little fun activity or a project that you can do while you're hanging out with your family now, I'd be in there doing this with my husband right now, but he's watching a movie and he don't want to hear me chatting right now. So, I'm just going to take this, make sure I got the green on top, and tie it real tight. And here we go, real tight. And let's push it in. Okay, so I need to make three more. And then this one will be done. Okay, so here I go with, here I go again. See how easy, you don't even need, you don't even need to write down anything. How easy is this? The only thing you're going to need to know is where to find the rings for not $2.99 for two. I wouldn't buy them at Hobby Lobby because that it was too expensive. Okay, so there we go. This is my... This is my seventh one, or eighth one, so I'll have to do two more after this one, I think. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this is my ninth one. See, I was talking and didn't keep up. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure I have it even. 
once you know you've got them even, tie your knot. And here we go, ninth one. Tie it very tight. Got my green on the top. So ask yourself when you think, oh, should I make something like that for my craft fair? Ask yourself, did you have a bunch of kids come to your craft fair with their, with their moms and dads? Probably. So I really think that, um, hey, you know, I've never done these before for craft fair, but I'm going to, and I'm going to take a leap of faith. Because I, I think that they'll be so eye-catching and just fun. Like I said, I am going to do some other... Um, some other wands as well. I've got some ideas of princess wands I'm going to do. I think those will be real sweet too. Okay, I'm trying to get this all even. But I thought this is a good idea. And it's not very expensive to make. So now, while I'm putting this last one on, what do y'all think for... What do y'all think for a price? Leave me a comment below. I'm kind of up on it. Um... I'm kind of thinking that I might even be able to do like $4. Um, let me know if you think $4 is fair. I think that $4 would be good. Um, yeah, I think that because of the amount of ribbon, you know, if you think I should go more, tell me. Tell me and let me just think about it. Um, but yeah, let me know if you think $4 would be good for these beautiful wooden ring wands. And that's what I'm calling them, wooden ring wands, is what they are. And look how pretty and flowy, and it's just really pretty. So now when you get it all done, um, just kind of measure it out. If you've got some extra little stray ones at the end that you need to trim, just give it a haircut, kind of make it even. And that is it. Now, for, oh, I'm sorry, y'all, I didn't mean to drop my, bump my tripod. The way I am going to hang these, I could just hang them up, but I'm thinking what I might do is put myself a piece of paper, and this is just an example, just make it like, I don't know, like this, and just hang it up like this, and I'll probably put a tag on them and just have a hole, and I'll probably hang them on like some kind of wire thing that I could hang them. So they all hang down and they will be easy accessible um, to whoever might want to buy one. Now, if you wanted to go a little farther with these, these would really be pretty if you had some kind of uh, decorative little stars to hang down on here. Um, anything, whatever you think you might want to do. But I think that they're going to be pretty just like this just with this beautiful, beautiful curling ribbon on it. And how fun, look, this is only three that I finished, and look at that, y'all. And it didn't take but probably five or 10 minutes to make one. And um, you could mass produce these out and get these done in no time. And um, yeah, yeah, but I really, and I think, and I do think, and I know I'm rambling on y'all, but I do think even too, if you're doing this, to have them in school colors, they would be great as well school colors in the area where you're having the craft fair, I think that that would be beneficial, you know? Cheerleaders might like something like this. Um, like I said, daycares might be interested. You know, kids might want some. Or you might even utilize these for birthday parties. That's a lot of, there can be a lot of things you can use these for. So anyway, well, I'm gonna quit rambling on. Told y'all, oh y'all, I keep bumping my tripod, I'm so sorry. I, I tell y'all, I really think that these are really pretty, and I think that it, I think that they would sell. And so I'm just going to table a leap of faith. I'm going to make the other 27 of rings that I have, and I'm going to be putting these in my craft fair. So, y'all, this is craft fair idea number two uh, for my 2019 craft fair series, and I'll be back soon with another idea. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, hope you've liked this, and hope you'll give this a try. Now, I also wanted to touch base on one more thing, y'all. On my craft fair series idea that I put yesterday with the super cute little pocket folder um, notebooks, I still have this one, and I'm trying to, 
Um, I didn't get to go to um, Dollar Tree today, but I called last night, but they had just closed. And I asked the lady if they're going to be selling these or when did these come in stock? Can we buy these online? And so she told me to stop by or call. Um, so I'm going to try to call tomorrow and see if I can find out if they have these on their website. And maybe we're just not putting in a correct name. If not, you might look for something like this maybe in the dollar spot at Target or maybe a Walmart might have something like this as well. Um, so you don't want to spend too much on them because they're a low value item. Or um, there was a suggestion from one of the ladies that watches the videos, said you can even cut your own paper. I really don't want to do that. I would prefer to have the little books and just be able to replace the cover. So I don't know. And I also had another lady say you could just put a cover over the cardboard cover. Um, yes, you can do that, but I kind of wanted to have the, have my paper double-sided, and so that is why I did it the way I did it. But make it your own. You know, do what you think is best. So anyway, y'all, I am going to get off this off this um, this craft room tonight, and I'm going to go in there and watch another movie with my hubby. And um, I hope you guys like this idea, and I hope you guys will like making these wooden um, these wooden ring wands. I really think that they're really pretty. So anyway, I think they'll be fun, and I think that they might be a good winner because they're eye-catching. Anyway, um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about pricing, and um, I will see you guys soon. Bye!